Looks like a Studebaker, possibly. Antique Phillips 66 diesel pump by Wayne. Then hiding over here is a 1950s International R200. Extended cab. Looks like it's had some modification to that back window. They wanted a little more space to see out of, I guess. Neat truck. Air horns, big old air block that told a lot of air where to go. Big old carbureted six cylinder, apparently. I sure like this truck. A lot of a lot of history in that one, guys. Down the next row, more truck cabs. Cabs of every year, every make. Guys, if you need a truck cab and it's not out here, they probably didn't make it. Sixty eight El Camino, I believe. Lost its rear end, but still probably a buildable car if the frame's not rusty. A lot of history in that pile of wire wheels. Thirty Chevrolet. A little hard for me to tell on this one, but I believe that is a 36 chassis with front end that somebody's put a later year, probably 3940-ish GMC cab on. I don't have an encyclopedic knowledge of the vagaries of late 30s Chevy and GMCs. This one is approximately 37, 38. Looks like a Studebaker, possibly. Neat old car. Old. Chevy cab with 
chrome grill, no vent windows on this one. I think that makes it a little later in the run if I remember right. We've got truck cabs galore. 50s, 60s, Fords, Chevrolets, Internationals. Pick your year, pick your brand, and it's probably out here. Pretty clean old 55 Ford, Ford or two. Little Mercury, no, it's a Maverick. Little Ford Maverick in there, if somebody's. Into these, not too bad a one. Some of them probably parts cabs and some of them better ones to build. Here's kind of an oddball. This is a camper built out of a straight truck box. Anybody want to guess what it is? Give you a minute here. This one built on a international truck chassis. <laughs> kind of a weird view going down the road. Alright, give up. You're probably as stumped as I was. This is actually a wolf wagon. Built by Wolf Engineering out of Dallas, Texas. Quite the vehicle for the way I've seen these trucks rust. This one's comparatively pretty good shape. It's a 60 to 63 with that wrap around or knee knocker windshield. Rockers are gone, but that's to be expected on one of these. Good above the windshield. No seats, that's a hard thing to find for one of these. Seats tended to get tossed when these gave up people carrying and turned to cargo carrying in their second and third owners time. And then we have the old army truck. This is the four-wheeled version. I don't know if that's a factory truck or if it's a half track that's been cut, modified into a regular truck again. 73, four, five, six Ford. Another 60 Chevy, short bed, step side. 
another 60. Short step side.